Merry Christmas, you guys. I am filming this on Christmas Day and you're probably gonna see this on Christmas Day if you watch it the day I upload it. I was just feeling in the filming mood. I haven't felt like that in a bit because as you can tell, I haven't uploaded in a while. I just needed some time off to just relax. School's over, well, first semester is anyway. I'm working on some college apps last minute um, that I have to get done. And it's just been nice to just relax and watch TV and read when I want to and color. And I'll talk about coloring some other time because it's something I've been into recently, adult coloring. I think my birthday is coming up on January. 4th so I am really excited. Again, I hate to bring this up multiple times but people are still asking me questions about it. Um, my Amazon wish list is down below. If you want to give me something for my birthday, please don't feel obligated to. This is just if you want to. I don't need anything. I am a very blessed person and I have a lot of books as you can see but if you are interested in getting me something my wish list is down below. I just wanted to film today because I saw that my friend Sandy from Sandy Reads A Lot, I'll link her channel down below because she's just incredible. She uploaded the festive Christmas book tag or something. She didn't tag me in it or anything but I decided to do it anyway because it's a festive Christmas tag like who doesn't want to do that? So firstly I'm holding this mug that doesn't have a lot of liquid in it left but it did have tea earlier and it is all all the best first lines of literature mug and my mom got it for me today for Christmas so I love it so much I will be drinking water and tea out of it even though I don't really like tea but she also got me some tea to try and I've been enjoying it with a little bit of honey so it's a great time but I've just I like holding this mug you know Carrie Hope Fletcher has the right idea you know when you're talking to people like it's kind of fun to hold a mug even though I have a random spoon out of it but like it's, it's just it's kind of fun Carrie Hope Fletcher check out her channel like I'm sure you've heard of her before but if you haven't like you need to go look at her videos because they're amazing let us just get started that was a really long intro um, this is also a onesie that I got today for Christmas and I'm wearing it because I like to be cozy on Christmas the first question is a fictional family you would like to spend Christmas dinner with so for this question I pick Percy and Annabeth's families. Now let me explain. So in my head they're married so technically they're one family now. Can you imagine a dinner with Percy and Annabeth and then Poseidon and Athena and then Percy's mom and Annabeth's mom. Like can you imagine that because I think it would be amazing and I just I would pay to see that and being able to witness it during a Christmas dinner would be insane and hilarious so I kind of I just had to go with this one. The second question is a bookish item you would like to receive as a gift. I have a few that I think are really cool. There are these tissue box holders and like it's just gonna sound weird but there's these tissue box holders that are made to look like two books stacked on top of each other so you slide the tissue box in and then you pull tissues out but it looks really like pretty if you're like a book person because it'll match other books in your room and it looks so cool and I really really want one. I want a book pillow as Sandy said in her video. Book pillows are the coolest thing ever with like quotes or like book covers or like an author or something. I think that'd be so cool. And then there's book lamps. I love book lamps. They're so cool. They're basically like lamps but they look like a book that's been opened so the pages are like all white and stuff and then the lamp glows from within. Those are cool. I also like canvases with quotes on them from books. I just, I like a lot of bookish gifts. You know, you can't really go wrong with me. I just, I'm a bookish person. Bookmarks, anything, I'm cool with it. Question number three is what character do you think would make the perfect Christmas elf? For this one, I had to go with Little Dorrit from Little Dorrit by Charles Dickens. She is just the sweetest, most helpful, selfless person ever. And she'd just be a great elf because I think elves in general are like very cheery despite circumstances and they're very hardworking and I I just and she just spread cheer and she's just the sweetest person ever so I definitely think she'd be a great Christmas elf. The fourth question is match a book to its perfect Christmas song. The next question is, Bah Humbug, a book or fictional character you've been disappointed in and should be put on the naughty list. For this one, I had to go with frickin' Voldemort or Bellatrix, like, of course they're gonna be on the naughty list. What, what do you mean? Like, who would ever put them on the nice list? Next is, a book or fictional character you think deserves more love and appreciation and deserve to be put on the nice list. And that is Hex Hall for me, or the Hex Hall trilogy. I love this trilogy. I, I just love it and it's amazing and I recommend everyone read it because it's just really good. It's just a really good trilogy and 
I'm a big fan of it. I did read it in middle school though, so I don't know how well I remember it. Maybe it's a little more childish, but I don't remember it being childish at all. I remember it having like a really, really good plot and storyline and characters, so I highly recommend reading it if you haven't already. Question number seven is red, gold, and green. What is a book with a wonderfully Christmassy feel to it? And I have quite a few for this. Not all of them. I don't have a Christmas Carol, but I have these beautiful editions of Christmas books. I have a Christmas Carol, but I'm reading it, so it's downstairs right now, but I have uh, The Nutcracker by E.T.A. Hoffman, and this just it has such a wonderful Christmas feel. There's also A Merry Christmas and Other Christmas Stories by Louisa May Alcott, which is gorgeous. And then I have Christmas at Thompson Hall and Other Christmas Stories by Anthony Trollope, which you can see right here. And then I have The Night Before Christmas by Nikolai Gogol, and that's not the typical Night Before Christmas, I'm pretty sure. It's like a different one. It's a more intense story. So yeah, and then I have The Christmas Carol, which is downstairs, as I said before. You can look it up if you want to in that edition. I have that too. And they all just look very Christmassy and wonderful, and I love them. Number eight, a book or series you love so much you want everyone to find under their Christmas tree this year so they can read it and love it too. The I Tell You I Love You and Then I Have to Kill You uh, series or the Gallery Girl series at is better known. I adore adore this series so much and the fact that not as many people have read it really bugs me because I love it. It's so good and like it starts out a little bit more like you know chill and like it might seem a little bit more childish. Not childish but like not young adult quite yet but I I mean it is young adult they're in high school but it might not seem that way. It gets darker as it progresses and gets a little bit more mature so I highly recommend this series. I mean it's about spies. It's about a school for spies. There's a girl school for spies. There's a guy school for spies. It's a great time. I highly recommend this and I don't know why more people haven't read it. That was the tag. I hope you guys are having such a Merry Christmas and if you don't celebrate Christmas I hope you guys have a Happy New Year or a happy whatever holiday you do celebrate according to your religion or if you're not religious you know what just have a great holiday season. You have break right now probably so I hope you're having a great time. Um, I personally do celebrate Christmas and you guys will be seeing a Christmas and birthday book haul from me soon which is really exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching and now it's time for my random fact. A random fact, I said it in the beginning of this video, I don't really like tea. I'm starting to like tea a little bit. I'm starting to not hate tea. I hated tea. Now I just kind of, I'm okay with it. I'm getting, I'm getting better. I'm trying new flavors. I think the main thing is I don't like green tea. It just doesn't taste good to me, which is sad because it's really good for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Make sure to check out all my links down below, my Twitter, my Instagram, Facebook page, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in my next video as I said before.